there's a man cutting wood outside and there's nothing I can do about it. Hello everyone, my name is Bait and today I'm going to be taking a look at Yule on vinyl. Yule is an artist I've been following since her release of Serotonin 2 in 2019 and ever since then I've been listening and enjoying her music and today I've got three of her vinyl to show off today. One of them being her recent release of Soft Scars and I actually have that on a limited edition vinyl. So without further ado, Let's take a look at Yule on vinyl. First up, we have Serotonin 2. Now, despite the name, Serotonin 2, this is actually the first sort of full-length album released by Yule. I got this a while back. These used to be quite hard to get your hands on because I think they only had a limited run for when they originally came out. And after that, people on eBay and Discogs were selling these for almost triple the original asking price. Um, but now... There have been so many represses of this album that you can pretty much get it for just anything around like 20, 30 pounds, so it's all good in the hood now. I don't know why I said that. On the front, you have Yule in her very edgy, gothic looking uh, schoolgirl uniform. And then on the back, you have the track list here, and it's also in a binary code there as well. There she is laying down. She's very sleepy. She's me, 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 me. And then on the side, it just says Yule Serotonin 2. On the inside of the record, we have the inner sleeve to the record. There's Yule again, with uh, laying down the grasses and flowers. And then on the other side, here she is squatting down in a field. Probably, I'm not gonna say that actually. This is probably her sort of more well-known album. Uh, I found her through the song called um, Pixel Affection, which is actually on this album. Uh, her other song, Poison Arrow, which I'm a big fan of. And probably her most famous one being Pocky Boy which um, I think kind of got a bit of like a viral boom recently or in like the last kind of year because I think maybe that's why the reason the record sort of sold out but I, saw, I started to see that or should I say heard that song a lot more than usual and here I have it on the plain black record as you can see here you can also get this on a clear record and also like a red foil record and uh, if you're quick enough you could get yourself a signed copy from yours official website I was not quick enough, I just got the regular version. Side A here shows Yule. Oh my god, I just stepped on the fucking thing. On side A here, you have Yule doing this sort of uh, this very impressive uh, backstand. And then on the other side, you have her there, this time in colour, for side B. Next we have Glitch Princess, her second full-length album. There she is there. I like the sort of consistency with her album covers as well. I think they're like, they all look pretty, pretty neat, you know? It uh, it really uh, it tickles my brain, my little OCD brain a little bit. But here she is here, looking like a it's almost like cyber demonic creature, uh, almost like a <laughs> almost like a like a Tron sort of Barbie doll sort of uh, feel I'm getting from it as well. And this time she's got her hair green. On the back, you have the track list center with this sort of uh, it almost like sort of like zalgified the the sort of uh, text. You know what that means? You know, like whether the text just is all, is all like glitchy, I guess. I mean, hey, Glitch Princess, I mean, hey, maybe that's maybe that's the reason why. Huh? And then on the side there, just says your Glitch Princess. This was another record that when it was released, it sort of had a big sort of uh, spike in price until recently. This one was from Rough Trade. This is the Antifreeze Green variant, which I'll show you right now. Here's the inner sleeve. You're there. I think this was actually used as one of her like single covers as well for a song in the album. On the other side, you just have this blue gradient. So having a look at this, here it is. The antifreeze green. It's like a bright green with a little bit of like a, a marble kind of effect in there with like a little bit of like a, a darker green and yellow there. So side A, it says your Grinch, uh, Grinch, your Glitch Princess on a white label there. Looks very clean. And then for side B, it's just much of the same. I ordered this directly from Bayonet Records, and they had another variant. It was like a blood... I think I think they actually did call it like a, a blood swirl variant, which I was gonna get, but I didn't. I got this one instead, and this one's cheap as sort of dirt, you know, it's as common as dirt. The other blood swirl one is actually worth like a lot more now, and I kick myself in the fucking nuts every day because I didn't buy it, and I cry myself to sleep every night knowing that I made a wrong decision in my life. But I do like the green anyway. I think it looks really sick. And I think there was also a clear and yellow version as well. That might have been exclusive to her own store front, but I don't know. And also inside, there is a download code 
to the album if you want to download it on your computer or anything like that. I'm just going to cover mine because I don't want you stealing my shit. And finally, we have her latest release, Soft Scars. Now, I got this on Thursday, and I only opened it up today, this morning, because I knew I was going to be making a video about it. And oh boy, I cannot wait to show you what's included with this record. So first of all, here's the album cover. Brand new album cover. There is a deluxe version of this album, which is up for pre-order right now on her website. And I think that's coming out on the 27th of October. And it's just a deluxe version. It has an alternative um, album cover. And then on the back side here, it has this like, I like this sort of like ghostly looking handwriting here. She's, I'm assuming it is handwriting. And then even the track list here, you can barely make it out, but I do like the aesthetic of it. It's nice. Very grim. It's almost like, uh, it's a little bit like ink block ink blodged on there the text with this uh destroyed structure at the back i like the autumn leaves here at the, at the uh, on the tree the sort of colorway of this is really nice and it all, i like how it all sort of goes together and then on the spine here it does say yeah soft your soft scars and then legal shit <laughs> and now there's a lot of stuff to take a look at on the inside so first of all it comes with this booklet so on the front, there's um, some uh, some barbecue sauce. Uh, I'm assuming it's just like dried up blood. This is throughout the entire um, record, by the way. So on the front, you have this splodge. Although I'm assuming it's, it's dried up blood. And on the inside, it goes to black. Soft scars there. Again, the text. And these are the lyrics to all of the songs on the album. Which I thought looked pretty cool. And then on the back, you have this almost... Tr very like traumatic it, that's what i thought when i saw it, it was like almost like remind me a little bit of trauma core in a way with the drawings we have like this little little bunny here seems to be like, like it's, it's almost like hung itself and this see i think this is like a, a razor blade at the back here from the, from the uh, the shape of it again more like blood spatter on the back here and then included as well is this poster it's a two-sided poster which I did not expect to, to get. I thought when it said it was a poster, I thought it was just going to be one of those like little 12 by 12 inch inserts. No, this is actually a, quite a, a, it's a decent sized poster. It's not like crazy big, but you know, like, what can you do? It, it's being fit inside of a record sleeve. Let's see if I can sort of fold that out just so you can get the best view of it. But there's, there's your from the album cover. And then on the back, you have this sort of black and white filter on the back. There, it says, I can't translate, I, I wish I translated that before 2023, I'm guessing that just, I'm guessing it might be her tour this year, or maybe it just says your Soft Scars 2023, not sure, let me know in the comments, I do apologise, I should have looked that up earlier, but I thought that's a really nice thing to get as well, and I might have to replace one of these posters with, with this one here, because I thought that looked really cool. On the inner sleeve, you have your here, again, more of the blood splatter, you have the hanging rabbit there as well, more of the sort of edgy kind of drawings, which I'm really, really liking. I'm liking this whole style of this record, actually. I was, I, I was genuinely surprised when I opened this up this morning. And there's more of the handwritten text that goes all the way along. The record's in there. I'll have a look at that in, in just a moment. Uh, all right, I've got to be careful here. On the other side, it's in another photo of your, it, this time in black and white, with white handwriting, more of the blood splatter. And this is interesting. Now, how most records sort of deal with you know, including a download code. It's just a little slip of paper like you saw earlier, just a blank thing. But here, I thought it was actually quite interesting. They actually make it a little sticker on the side. I'm just gonna kind of try and cover it up with my thumb just so I don't steal my shirt. But it just says download MP3 version and it's got a little link to where you get it and there's a code there. And it's just a little sticker, which I thought, what a good idea. Instead of just having a loose bit of paper which is gonna get damaged when you, you know, put the sleeves in and out. And it's a sticker, like if you don't want it there, you can always take it out, It'll, as long as you're careful, I guess, and you don't rip the whole thing. But I've never seen it on an album uh, before, and I thought that's a really, really good idea. Now let's have a look at the Red Marble Variant Record. This was limited to 300 pieces on Rough Trade. And my goodness, look at that, let's have a look at that. Again, it's sort of full, it's like a sort of like dried up, bloody look with the rest of the record. And there's actually another secret I want to show you guys just before I end this video. There's side A, and more of the text. Your soft scars, it's all been scrubbed out. I really like it. And this vinyl color is really nice. It's like an, when you, it, obviously depending on where you hold it, because it's, it's like you know, semi-translucent, with the red, sort of orangey marble there. It looks really good. And then on the other side, for side B, 
you have Yule there in black and white. And this is something I'd never seen before in a record release, but the inner sleeve is actually printed on the inside. Like, there is blood in there. And I really like that, because, like, throughout the whole experience, it feels like you're opening up, like, the, the, this giant blood sack inside of the record or whatever the fuck. And I really like that, and it, it sort of makes me really enjoy And the whole thing feels really cool to me. Like, this whole, this actual whole record release has probably been the best, record experience, you know, opening, whatever, this year that I've had. I, I was just going through it we, on my on my bed. I, like I said, I opened up this morning, I had a look at it, and I was thinking, wow, I cannot wait to show this off. It's incredible. And this wasn't even that expensive either. This was like 24 quid. So like, bruh, what's stopping other companies from doing shit like this? I've never seen this before. Just what a... This, this is what makes me proud to be a vinyl collector, you know? <laughs> shit. But yeah. A really, really good release. So if you haven't picked this up, and I think this is for all variants of the record. Um, obviously the vinyl colour won't be the same, but I think this is for, you know, whether you get the marble version or probably even the deluxe version that's coming out as well on pre-order. I think it looks really good. I, I, li I like all of this. I can't believe I'm getting more excited over an inner sleeve than the actual record itself, but there you go. And that's going to do it for today's video on Yule. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments, did you pick any of these albums up? Did you get her new record, Soft Scars? Did you get any ex exclusive variants? Hey, mate, you might even get the signed version. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and take care.